months after we left, Terry and I returned to Old Faithful to check on our problem croc. The only way to find out if he's learned his lesson is to see how he reacts to our return. We've been here for a couple of days and so far there's no sign of him. But the waterhole is still flooded. He might be further up or down the river. But there's a new sound in the air around Old Faithful Waterhole. The female we saw laying has been successful. Deep in the nest, some of her eggs have already hatched and the newborns are calling to their mother. She clears away the top layer of grass and twigs to uncover her young. And the first hatchlings head for the daylight. Their mother's mighty jaws become a gentle cradle. Some of the babies hitch a free ride to the water. Meanwhile, the rest of the brood hear the squeaking and begin to emerge. The hatchlings are less than six inches long, but perfect miniatures of their mother. They're quite capable of making their own way. At this age, their legs are strong enough to easily lift their bodies high off the ground. together. And for the first few weeks, their mother stays close by. But the hatchlings have many enemies. Fish, birds, not to mention other crocodiles. They'll be lucky if even one out of this 50 survives. Now, we're still wondering if our problem croc is going to show his face. Terry and I have seen absolutely no sign of him, but if anyone's going to spot him, Barry will. This is Big Croc headquarters, but he still doesn't seem to be at home. Then, Suddenly, the moment of truth. There he is. This is looking good. We've seen our large male crocodile, but as we approach him, he submerges and seems to go up the other end. Although we can't say for sure, it looks like he may remember his night in the trap. That could be good news for the fishermen who come here. And good news for our croc and all those like him. As human populations expand in Australia, we've got to learn to allow these super predators their space. This new approach could help us leave them in the wild where they belong.
that way, there'll always be crocs down under. Tomorrow on Wild Discovery, victims of bear attacks tell their stories. The bear grabbed me and threw me onto the ground. As Wild Discovery continues tomorrow. Want to learn more about what you see on Wild Discovery? Log on to Wild Discovery Wired at www.discovery.com. Ask questions and get answers from experts who know. But next, deliberately putting a plane in danger, the crash detectives investigate survival in the sky. Sidetrack Saturday is next on the Discovery Channel.